Rod Crocker loved to fly. He put in more than a thousand hours soaring in his glider over Canada and the U.S. Then two years ago, a degenerative spinal condition and meningitis left him paralyzed from the chest down. That loss of mobility and chronic pain now dominate his life. He believes people in his situation should be able to ask a doctor to help them commit suicide, even though he wouldn't do so himself. Having the option eases your mind a bit. And even though you don't want to take it yourself, you know that further down the road, it does give you some assurance that, that you have some control at the end and that you uh, are just not going to be left to suffer. Ruling on a case brought by a woman who later went to Switzerland to legally end her own life, Canada's Supreme Court said doctors must be allowed to help terminally ill or desperately suffering patients commit suicide. The federal government brought in legislation that provoked rowdy scenes in Parliament. It passed the lower house but is now stalled before the upper house, the Senate. Because it's a moral issue, this speaks to matter of conscience. You know, it's not like uh, voting on a budget or not. It, you're dealing with life and death issues. Opinion polls show most Canadians support some form of doctor-assisted suicide for those facing pain, dementia, or stark physical decline. That's why some advocates oppose the current bill, which they feel does not go far enough and hope the country's Senate will amend it or send it back to lawmakers in the lower house for reconsideration. We expected that the Supreme Court of Canada's decision uh, would stand on its own. We didn't, we didn't expect uh, that the government would draft legislation that doesn't meet the minimum standards of the Supreme Court of Canada's decision. From Monday, Canadians will have the option of physician-assisted suicide, thanks to the Supreme Court striking down earlier laws. What they won't have are the conditions that the federal government proposed in this bill, restricting the choice to die to mentally competent adults facing certain death from their condition. It's now